So today we're gonna start to play a little bit and we're gonna do something very interesting with some tuna salad, a regular salad and bring it out to a different, a little bit twisted way on the plate. So what we're gonna need is a little bit of a bigger plate so we have enough space to play. And actually it's not gonna be like the typical dish that you would do that you have the item himself, another item and that's it. It's actually gonna look more like a picture. And all what we're gonna do is display all the arts that we're doing to complete that picture. To be able to start to do that, what we're gonna need is, first of all, a plate that is flat enough. If the plate is going up, that's not gonna hold very well the design we wanna do. Another thing that you would need is a pattern. You can use any pattern that you want. Actually, those patterns are sold for cake decorating. People put on it, put it on top of the cake and sift on it cocoa, and then you have a pattern on top of your cake. But we can use it for other things as well, like for the tuna salad that we're doing right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna display it and put it on top and we're gonna hold it firmly. This is our salad. You have to make sure that it has no pieces in it. So this way it's gonna go smooth on top of our plate. You're holding it straight in the place and with a small spatula, you're starting to smear over a nice layer. Now, if you want to play a little bit with the colors, you can take off a little bit from the design by the stem and the leaves. It makes it a drop of a thinner layer, but you're going to have enough by the flower itself. Once you see the design of the leaves, you're taking anything you want, like parsley or chive leaves, and you just sprinkle a few crushed ones on top. That's going to give it a little bit more of a green feel. It's not going to make it green because you don't put it all the way, but they're just going to make a drop of a green touch on top of the stem. After all this is ready, all what you have to do is hold your design to make sure it's not moving anywhere. It has tendency to walk away. And you lift your pattern very carefully and this is your design. Let's do something a little bit interesting now to place next to the flower. Something green, of course, would go the best. Um, with a regular pillar, by the way, I don't like the one that comes straight. They usually have tendency to have their own personality. I like this kind because they actually do what I ask them to do. The first layer I'm not going to use, but I'm starting to peel long slices of the cucumber which eventually going to create my pattern to hold the salad in place. A lot of the salad entrees, a lot of the salad dishes actually have one problem. They look very messy. When I want to make them look very neat, I actually have to cage them somehow. What a lot of caterers are doing is they're taking a piece of dough and then they put it coming from the dough down to the plate. I still don't find it neat enough. I find it that it still has that messy kind of look. So what I like to do is cage it completely in a place where it cannot move. You still have your portion of salad. It's a full portion, but it looks designed. After we finish abusing the cucumber, we're taking a little cup and that's going to be our holder, our base to be able to build on it. I'm taking a very small slice the thinner slice that I made, because that's one gonna be the one to show. I'm making sure the front of it is on the bottom here. And the moisture of the vegetable is actually gonna hold everything together. I'm taking my next slice, moving it a little bit, taking the next slice, moving it a little bit. It's very thin and thin things are tend to be very flexible. And that's what would actually create the look of the cup that we're holding. Once we have the base, we're going to fill it up with a salad. And the lettuce having some sort of a dressing on it will give us some stability as well because it's going to hold it like glue. What I'm doing right now is I'm folding all the pieces in. I'm holding it on top of my plate in the place where I want to place it. 
and slowly taking it out, creating like a dome. To be able to add more to the portion, we could take with a fork and put some on the plate and shape it like it's little mountains. So this way the portion is bigger, but you still have your design. Some of our chives from before will add a little to it. And cut cherry tomato will add some color to it. And with this we have a full plate. It looks presentable, it looks beautiful, you have a full portion of salad, you have the po full portion of tuna, and you can add much more decoration to it. But bear in mind that the more decoration you add not necessarily makes it prettier, sometimes it makes it too busy. So, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will join us to, the, to our next episodes. Thank you.